Okay, so here's one more video on calculating concentrations, but for this one we're going to do it as a percent WV, which is a percent weight to volume. It's a different way of communicating concentrations of solutions, and the idea comes from a percentage of how many grams of uh, solute that you dissolve per 100 mils of water. So a 45% WV solution, or 4.5%, I guess, might be a little more reasonable, means that I've taken 4.5 grams and put it into 100 mils of water. And that's roughly what we would be looking at. D expressing in these ways are great for chemistry teachers when they want to make up a solution. So if you need it to be a 4.5% weight to volume, you know you just get 100 mils and put in 4.5 grams, or a liter and put in 45 grams, etc. It's easier to deal with. When you get a concentration of moles per liter, us teachers, we have to go and calculate all that out, but most chemistry teachers would find that fun anyway, because we're not really normal. Now, some notes that we need to get through the formulas. The mass of the substance has to be in grams. The volume should be in mils, and when you divide the mass by the volume, mass divided by volume, uh, you should multiply that by a, a hundred so you could write it as a percentage. So sounds fairly easy. Let's take a look at what happens. So in our example, if we took 2.5 moles of strontium acetate and we put it in one liter of water and we want to know the concentration as a percent weight to volume. Well, this example is purposefully tricky because it doesn't give any unit that we particularly want. So we have 2.5 moles. That is the symbol N, 2.5 moles. And we have one liter, so that is a volume of 1.0 liters. And the question wants concentration as percent WV. That means you need mass per volume, not N over V, which was molarity formula. So I don't see a mass here. I see number of moles. So we need to take the molar mass of strontium acetate and use the number of moles and try and work that out. Strontium acetate, you take a strontium, that looks like a V, a strontium ion, and strontium is plus 2. The acetate ion, CH3COO, is a negative 1. You would need two of those. Why did I choose such a large ion here? Okay, so you need two of those, and so to get this guy's molar mass, we see that we have one strontium, which is 87.62 on the periodic table. We have one, two times two is four carbons that are each 12.01. We have three times two, six hydrogens, which are 1.01. .01. And we have two oxygens, which are each 16. So we'll be taking 87.62 we will be adding in 48.04, 6.06, and 32. So adding all those up, turn our calculator back on, 87.62, we will add 48.04, and 6.06, .06, I wrote 2 by accident, and 32 and you get 173.72. That was a 6. So this is our grams per mole. For each strontium uh, molecule you have, every mole of those molecules is 173.72 grams. Now we are ready to get our mass, because the mass is the number of moles times the molar mass. So if you had two and a half moles, and each mole weighs 173.72, you simply multiply that number by two and a half, and you can get the mass. So we multiply by 2.5, and we get 434.33 grams of substance. Now that we have the mass, we're able to get our concentration in percent weight to volume because we need our mass in grams, which we see 434.3 grams. We divide that by our volume, which has to be in mils, which is 1,000 milliliters. 
and that gives us 0 0.4343 grams per mil. And like I said earlier, to get that as a percent weight to volume or grams per 100 mil, you'd simply multiply it by 100 and say that that would be 43.4% weight to volume, which would be equivalent to 43.4 grams in 100 mils. Multiplying by the 100 is what turns it into a percent. So I hope that uh, helps you out in the last of my calculating concentration videos.